Happy Thursday. We are taking a look over Holland, but some light rain showers are moving through and that's significantly reducing visibility currently. If you are going to be traveling near the lake shore, that's where we have our heaviest pocket of rain moving through. Similarly, over Stanton right now, some light rain showers there as well. Our current look at a satellite and radar shows this low pressure system. It's going to be bringing a little bit of light mist, otherwise mostly cloudy skies and running into scattered rain showers throughout the day. A closer look shows the heaviest pocket of rain right now is closer towards Grand Rapids and I-96, but a few light sprinkles are beginning to develop closer towards southwest Michigan. As we take a closer look towards Battle Creek, Plainwell, Allegan, that's where we have light sprinkles falling there. Closer towards Grand Haven, Allendale, the heaviest moment of showers beginning to build in towards downtown Grand Rapids and will be moving into Rockford within the hour. Now, as for our temperatures, they are pretty cool across the area. In fact, 39 degrees in Fremont and Muskegon, 44 degrees in Kalamazoo and Three Rivers. We are going to stay in this cooler trend throughout the rest of the day. And actually, unfortunately, the next couple of days. Our winds currently, they're firing up from the southwest anywhere between 10 to about 15 miles per hour sustained winds with wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Our day planner will show those temperatures staying in the lower 40s, scattered rain showers and winds are going to be breezy, eventually shifting later on tonight, bringing in that cooler air. So when those temperatures are pretty close to that freeze, point. In fact, tonight around 34 degrees. That's where we could have the chance for a wintry mix. A few light snowflakes. I know no one wants to hear it. I am simply the messenger for the next two minutes. Unfortunately, we are going to see the chance for a couple moments of snow showers, not only later tonight, but also into this weekend. So it is much cooler today. We can see that with our upper level chart, but looking into Saturday, that's when we have an even colder air mass that's going to move in. This is expected to bring high temperatures on Sunday only in the the lower 30s. So as for today, we'll see this low pressure system bringing us on and off rain showers. The chance for a wintry mix will develop tomorrow. It's mainly going to be in the afternoon and evening that we see the chance for some light rain and snow, all thanks to an approaching cold front. Once that initial cold front passes, it brings in much colder air and lake effect snow will be developing throughout the early morning hours on Saturday with drier skies for Saturday evening. Not before we do see some accumulation though. This is the latest GFS model showing about one to two inches widespread across West Michigan between today, tomorrow and Saturday. So this does encompass all three days, but still we are expected to have some accumulation. As for our super seven day planner, we're going to see a high temperature of 48 degrees. We met that earlier this morning, dropping temperatures throughout the day, a high of 45 for your Friday, and then we get even colder into your Sunday with a high temperature of 32 degrees. Now I am the bearer of bad news today, so why not just keep it going? This is going to be our extended outlook for the beginning of April. Unfortunately, we are expected to be cooler than average. Stay tuned to Fox 17 for your latest forecast and all updates.